another blue sky kind of day up here at the National Cathedral, which is basically in my backyard. Hey guys, it is Friday. It is actually really kind of cold. <laughs> it's like 62 degrees. That's like, I don't know, what, 18 Celsius or something like that, 17 Celsius. It's chilly. It's chilly and uh, it's going to warm up a little bit later. It is back to school day. I uh, just dropped my kids at school. Ah, I'm very excited about that. And uh, we are on our way down to the White House. We might have a helicopter today. Uh, the president is on his way to New Orleans and we're going to try to catch him leaving the White House. There's the statue. Khalil Gibran. All right, we're on Embassy Row once again because, well, you know, I live up here. <laughs> Some of you are like, why do you always show Embassy Row? It's like, well, this is where I live. I mean, how am I, how am I going to get to the White House if I don't go down this street? Anyway, so we are on our way downtown. Let's see if anything interesting is new today. They're mowing the lawn. That's not interesting. Person walking, not interesting. Dead traffic cone, not interesting. <laughs> so this is the Venezuelan ambassador's place. Boy, they need to mow the grass, don't they? I'm not sure who's taking care of this place right now. <laughs> the weird state of embassies. What are they doing back there? Oh, construction. This is the Zambian embassy. The embassy of Zambia, but it's been under under renovation for about a year and a half. Actually, I think this was under renovation pre-COVID. The actual embassy now is another building down the street. They're just renting some space while they gut that one. So I think I showed you this. This is the condominium complex where Senator Harris from California had her, uh, her condo while she was a senator. She lived there, I think, the first day after the inauguration and then the Secret Service mandated that she move and then they took her to Blair House where she lived for about three months and then they moved up to the Naval Observatory in late spring. I think it's on the market, like a couple million dollars US. Okay, let's ride our bike down into the park. This is Washington Circle, just off the campus of George Washington University in Washington, D.C., with a statue of George Washington, just in case you get for I don't know how many George Washington statues there are in D.C. There must be like eight to ten or something like that. They're just, they're all over the place. There's even like one where he's like, topless, I think. It's like, it's like George Washington in a bathtub or something like that. <laughs> I saw it somewhere. And we got a green light. See, I waited for the green light. Got that. This moving truck has been here for a while. I'm getting a lot of questions. Is Blair House under renovation? And well, it's basically really hard to tell because you can't see inside. They've got like big, big uh, window blinders. You can't really see inside. Now I saw inside the presidential townhouse the other day because the door was open and I could see workmen inside the presidential townhouse. But as far as Blair House, I'm not sure. Here's the uh, high pressure washing truck. Oof. And I'm mowing the lawn over here. Fresh cut grass. Look at this, you got these cages here to prevent you from getting to that fence, which will prevent you from getting to the next fence, which will prevent you from getting to the next fence. One, two, three, four, five things to jump. Hey, the chandelier is back. Guys, they're putting the chandelier back up. There we go, get the camera back. We saw that, we saw hints of that yesterday. Yep, there it is. Told you they're going off. Let's go over here. Well, 
Okay, so we are off on 17th Street and G. Uh, we've got a bit of police activity at this gate. We've got a bunch of dog units. I'm not sure what's going on. Ambulance has arrived at the Eisenhower Executive Office building. I guess someone's had an injury, maybe. Ambulance 16, EMS 7, respond. BLS back pain, 1650 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, across Jackson Place. See EMS, EMS chief. He's kind of lost. Eagle One South. Eagle One, we'll be landing on the mall. We'll call you on our departure. Eagle One, Roger, 1350. Eagle One. Watch the tower, Night Hawk One. Eagle Eight Three, I'll be on the coast to request route one for the PCB 6 Alpha. Tower Watch Watch Tower. Watch Tower, 3012 approved. 3012, Night Hawk One. Watch the tower, Nighthawk 1, Flint Futures. Nighthawk 1, Roger, Airport 1350 at 663. Nighthawk 1. Watch the tower, Nighthawk 2 and 8, our uh, proceeding is brief. Nighthawk 8, watch the tower, watch up to 3011, which is brief. 3011, Nighthawk 2. Nighthawk 2, right. Press is leaving. Tower Marine One, looking to be free. Marine One, Washington Tower, Washington South, three zero one two two three. Three zero one two three one. So I had to jump a train back. Kid had to get uh, picked up from school and I was in a hurry. So no biking, ran on the subway. Uh, that was this morning's video. That was Marine One taking off. They're down in Louisiana and they're coming back to Wilmington, Delaware tonight. They're gonna spend the weekend there, a little bit of a vacation that they've been putting off for the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's the holiday here in Washington. It's been kind of a holiday for the last year, but it's more of a holiday now. So most, we'll have less of the locals and more of the tourists this weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe we'll film. Maybe we'll go out in the country. Uh, anyway, I've got a couple videos in my head that I want to like use some old videos and show you something uh, I've detected that I thought you guys might be interested in. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, do so. Just click the button. If you click the little bell thing, it'll beep if I ever go live, which is kind of cool. And thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. All right. See you guys soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.